this time he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man! Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. What you've done. Oh, his golden yellow light just. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pac Man! The drool will be there, and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? No, God, no! Oh! When the holy semicircle of life meets his demise in the melting way he does, it always brings me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man! Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? Are you ready for Batman? <laughs> the best way to Pac-Man is to use the game! You move the joystick and he eat the dot! There should be counselors involved. Sometimes, you just gotta bring the message to the people. Pac-Man! 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 No! Pac-Man! I think these people are gonna look back on their lives. They're gonna be lying on their deathbed thinking, my God, I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. Say Pac-Man! Say Pac-Man! And now it's too late. Pac-Man! <laughs> wondering no the beard isn't patchy part of it just grows in blonde Ugh. let's get this down here oh oh sorry guys sorry I didn't mean it don't tell your mum so got a haircut <laughs> put the chair down a bit so you can see me a bit better this is some good old-fashioned pickups and this will probably be the last time I kind of film in this kind of area. I'm gonna move back upstairs just because I like filming there a bit more. It's a bit easier. I don't have to worry about foot traffic or anything like that. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna have to keep an eye on something I am cooking. So if I'm looking over here like every 15 seconds, it's because I have a pot of spicy vegetable soup over there just cooking. All right, so speaking of haircuts, Motherfuckers took my chest hair. I was getting my hair cut by a friend, and another friend came over. Uh, no, I was getting my hair cut by my brother. And my friend was over, and he came up for a razor, just like. <laughs> and I'm sitting there for a razor in my head, so I can't move, and I'm just like, cunt. <laughs> it's like, well, now I gotta shave the rest of it. Can't have a fucking racing stripe going up. Alright, you guys don't want to hear about, you guys don't want to hear about my chest hair, come on. This isn't Sega CD Universe here. Uh, we talk about the real issues on Sega of my house, like the pickups, where I got them, how much I paid. So let's start this video, and start our video. Oh, didn't know that would happen. Dropping shit. Will I ever get that back? Uh, enjoy the view, fellas. Oh. There we go. Got it. The first score of any kind that I had this week was in an op shop. How about that? I actually go out to the thrift stores and I get something in a thrift store. This one was in the Archerfield area, there are two big op shops, there's a Salvation Army and there's a Lifeline, and I just wanted to go one day, so I went over. This is kind of loud, but I'm sure it's not too loud in the video. I'm sure my voice is louder than it is, so it'll just be like good background music. Um, went to those two, and amazingly, I actually found stuff in both stores. The first one I went into was a Salvation Army. 
in that salvo, they managed to find two DVDs, or one DVD set and one Blu-ray. Uh, pretty exciting, actually. We got Mad Men Season 4. They had this for three bucks. It's not bad. Complete. And oh, that's really cool. I really watched the first two of this series recently, so I'm yet to watch the third one, which I hear is the weakest of the trilogy, but I'm still going to watch it. The Godfather DVD set. Look at that. Four dollars. Great movies. A lot going on in them though. I'd, I'd be lying if I said I knew everything that was happening in the movie. But good to get for four bucks. I watched them using Stan, which is like Aussie Netflix. Oh hell, America might have it, I don't know. But that's all I found in the Salvos. Next one over the Lifeline, and I usually don't find much in this Lifeline because their prices tend to vary a little bit, but they're having a bit of a sale where all DVDs were $2 and all CDs were a dollar each. And they had one PlayStation 1 game in there. Which I didn't buy. I didn't buy it because it was Mary Kate and Ashley Magical Mystery Mall or something like that. I don't know. I have it. <laughs> Already got it. Yeah. That's awesome. That's what I did get in there. For a dollar each, I got for the PC Cyberboard Kid. I uh, ran DOSBox to play this. Fun game, it's like a side scroller. You're a kid on a skateboard, or like, they call it a cyberboard in the game, and you go around collecting stuff. It's a lot like Jazz Jackrabbit. We also have Half Life Game of the Year Edition, great title. And for the good PC games, and these are some good ones, we have a two box. SWAT 4 Gold Edition. If you know anything about SWAT 4 Gold, you know it's worth a bit of money. Doesn't have the manual, but it has both discs. Can't pull them out, otherwise I'll break them. There we go. This one and disc two. I'll be keeping this one for myself, but if I find another copy in the future, that one will be for sale. And if anyone knows me, they know this is... Up there with my favorite PC games. It's it's such a different game. It's Path of Logic. I'm gonna turn this around, turn this down a little bit. I don't like having to speak over stuff. It's Path of Logic. It's a fantastic game. It's about it's about your character, one of three characters that you can choose, arriving at this plague torn village, and you have to find out why there's a plague, why people are dying. And you meet a lot of interesting and crazy characters. It's always, it's very good. Now, if you ever find it, I'm pretty sure it's on good old games and Steam, so check it out, man. Check it out. And I bought a movie. It looked stupid. That's why I wanted to get it. When Thugs Cry. I'm sure this is up Jeff McEntee's alley. <sighs> Straight out of Compton's coming up. Look forward to seeing that. And... They actually gave me this one for free, which is Taito Legends, and you might be wondering, well, why'd you get some for free? That's why. Uh, no disc, but thankfully, ages ago, I found a copy of one and two for the PC, so I can take one out and make this whole. Oh yeah. That's actually where the background game comes in for this one. This game is Ninja Kids, which is an awesome arcade game. Uh, you can see what it is. It's a hack and slash, beat em up, kind of like Streets of Rage and Final Fight. But it's, it's really wacky. And if you ever find an arcade machine of this, play it. Or if you find Taito Legends, you can play it. Still looking for Taito Legends on the PlayStation 2, but find that eventually. I actually used to play this back in the day with a mate of my name, Phil. This is... God, this has got to be going back... a decade, maybe? It was a while ago. It was like 2005. 
We used to play this a lot of the Tyler Legend Collection. It was our favorite game. And I don't keep in contact with Phil anymore. Kind of dropped off when I went into high school. But, eh, the memories are there, you know. It's a fun game. Great game. Oh, what do I show next? There's so much crap to show. Alright. I'll show these quickly. The local uh, cash converters. The Indra Pilly store. I gotta stop mentioning it, otherwise people may start invading it. But I found some good stuff there. For five dollars each, we have WarioWare Smooth Moves. Still trying to get all of the Nintendo titles for cheap. I've got most of them. I've got all the Mario's, I've got all the, all the Zeldas, the Pokemons, and whatnot. You know, I'll find them all cheap. You know, five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks. That's all I'm willing to pay. Uh, also, for five dollars, GTA Five on the Xbox 360, we'll be selling that on as I have my PS3 copy. I actually have it right here. And PS3 tends to be my system of choice. Also for $5 we have one that I thought was worth a little bit more, but it's not really. Call of Duty Ghosts. I thought this might be worth like 15 bucks or something and I'd be able to sell it on, but it's only worth about 10 so I'll still make my money back plus a little bit, but... You know. And from the local JB Hi-Fi, which is basically right next door to the cash converters, we have for five bucks on the 3DS, first 3DS game I've bought in a while, uh, Ghost Recon uh, Shadow Wars. And I usually wouldn't pick up a title like this, but I was told by a uh, corn muffin, good mate in Japan, that this was a tactical game. It's like turn-based and tactical, so that looks cool actually. I like these kind of games, so I like turn-based RPGs, so this should be good. Especially the strategy ones like your disguises and tactics ogres. So that should be fun. And for five bucks, I was willing to you know, give it a go. Uh, this one was a little bit of a bust. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a bust because you see I picked up quite a bit of stuff, but I went to the Logan Tip Shop last Friday, and whenever I go down to the Logan Tip Shop on a Friday, it's it's a trip, it's an experience. Um, maybe one day I'll get it on film. Um, I've talked to them, they don't want me filming in there, which I completely understand. You know, they're a biz, they don't want people coming in and like, taking photos or whatnot, which is fine, that's fine. But, I'd love to someday get the chance to do it. Maybe someday. But, when I went down there on a Friday, this is when they open, so there's always all of the local competition. All the local traders and resellers. Or well, so I thought. For some reason, when I went down there this Friday, or last Friday, there just wasn't really anyone there. I mean, you still had the general Friday crowd of like 50 people waiting to get in, but it wasn't as big as I thought it would be. You know, I, I'm usually expecting like 200 people rushing the door as soon as it opens. It's trying to get the good stuff, so it was still cool to go in, but unfortunately they just didn't really have anything. I mean, they had some games. They had two copies of Lord of the Rings: Battle for Middle Earth on the PC, both copies, no discs. So, yeah, you know, what can you do? I mean, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you find great stuff, other times you don't. Sometimes you beat it to the punch. I mean, who knows? Yeah. It's an excuse, really. I only found three items there. Like, they're not bad items by any means, but... Yeah, for two bucks each. Mario Kart DS. To sell on, I mean, it's not a bad title. It's a good title. But I'm usually... I usually expect to find, like, bulk good titles when I go to the Logan Tip Shop, you know? But, and two DVDs. For two bucks each, we have... Man of Steel, which I've been meaning to watch. And the Ultimate Fighter Season 2, which is the sell on. <sighs> From there, the only stuff I found was in op shops and pawnbrokers. We went to an op shop where DVDs were a dollar each unless they were marked otherwise, so in there for a buck each I found Once Were Warriors, Once Were Warriors. Anyone doesn't know this is a movie about kind of domestic life? and drinking problems in New Zealand, so definitely worth a watch. Though, 
Uh, don't watch this and think that all of New Zealand is like that. I've been to New Zealand. It's a lovely country with beautiful, beautiful people. We also have one well, that I watched, Skeleton Key for a buck. It's kind of shit. And uh, one that I watched and was damn near tears. Million Dollar Baby. This one was for two bucks. Great film. Great movie. Um, I won't say anything about it just because I'll spoil it, but good film. Very good film. Also went to the cash converters in the Logan area, and for what I picked up and what's working in this lot, I don't think I got a good deal. For the PSP, I got Driver 76. I like the driver games. They're fun. Cool little GTA ripoffs. Also got one that I thought would be a bit better. It's an indie horror film, so I thought, oh yeah, it's going to be like really gory and awesome, but no. Nah. Picklin's Muse, it's, it's kind of boring, to be honest. A bit like my own channel. <laughs> and one that, if it had worked, would have been a great deal, but it unfortunately didn't. Blade Storm. Wasted six bucks on that, and they only give you a week to bring them back and load them, so... You know, it's already been over a week. You know, what can you do? But, the guy showed me the disc, and he showed me that... Yeah, you see that kind of ring there? I thought, nah, that shouldn't really do anything, and fortunately it does, so... It's okay though, we have use for broken games. Gotta use it for something. What else have I got? Still a lot of snuff. Ugh. Also went down to the, uh, God, where is it? The Fortitude Valley area, the Valley of Fortitude. This was on Echo Wednesday, and I was actually meeting up with a mate in the city to go and see a film, which when we got to the cinema, was sold out, so we didn't end up seeing it, but uh, we could have. We were going to see Ant-Man. I hear it's good. My soup doing all right? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I hit up the Fortitude Valley cash converters first, and this was on what's known as Echo Wednesday, and the Echo is a kind of, like a kind of state fair kind of thing in Brisbane, where, not really a state fair, a city fair. It's a fair, you know, you get your carnivals and your show bags, and you get like the exhibitions where you can see all the cattle and livestock, and you get like... Uh, wood chopping shows and whatnot. You know, it's fun. It's fun to go to, but on the Wednesday that the Echo is going on, it goes for two weeks. So the second Wednesday, you get a holiday. It's known as Echo Wednesday, and it's an official public holiday. You're supposed to go to the Echo on the day as a kind of like celebration of rural Brisbane life. But uh, we didn't end up going. We, if you've been to the Echo once, you've seen it also. It's no real reason to go a second time unless you're like bringing your kids or your friends or something. But I ended up going to the Fortitude Valley Cash Converters, which unfortunately was the only thing that was open where I could have gotten like secondhand media, but ended up getting some cool stuff. We got they just put these on clearance for three dollars and twenty-eight cents. I asked him what the price was about and he said I just did a percentage discount on all of them. I couldn't be bothered working them all out and I'm like, alright mate. Uh, Wallabies Rugby Challenge. I played it, it's alright. I'm looking for a good rugby union game. I just I just can't find one, because I do like my rugby. We have, for $3.69, God of War 3, great deal on that. Looking forward to finally getting to sit down and play that. I've played every other God of War title, so it's time to play that one. We have, for $0.50, cents, Project Grizzly about the man that builds the grizzly bear proof suit. Looks good. I believe it's a legit doco too, so. Uh, we also have, which, something that might be the pickup of the episode, may not be, I'm not sure. It is for $3. They had just put out a bunch of original Xbox titles, and I got my pick of the litter, and I had all of the ones except for this one, so I grabbed it. Godzilla Save the Earth. 
I let Andy know that I had this, and he's like, you fucker. <laughs> it's mine, mate. If I find another one, it's yours. This copy is mine. It's all in there, nice and complete. The disc. Where's the wear? It does have a tiny bit of wear to it. You know, more smudges and fingerprints than scratches, but... You know, I cleaned it up, I played it, and I actually finished it. It's only like half an hour long, so... But it expects you to play through multiple times to unlock everything, so this will be in the next Games I've Finished episode. Which is actually looking pretty good, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six... There's seven titles in the Games I've Finished recently things. So I'll probably do that as my next vid. What else we got? Ooh. The rest of this stuff came on a very special trip. This past weekend, only a few days ago, I went down to Strathpine. And what's special about that is I never get to go to Strathpine. Um, it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of like Logan in that it's kind of a working class air. Yeah, the houses aren't too nice, there's a lot of off shops around. So whenever I get to go there, it's further out than Logan, that's why I never get to go. I'll hit up Logan and then not hit up Strathpine, which is like on the other side of the city. It's like, I'll usually hit Logan instead of Strathpine, but... In a few times a year I do get to hit up Strathpine, I usually find good stuff, because... I have a lot of off shops, and I also have a flea market there. Like, a legit market. And it's open from... Uh, I don't remember the actual hours, but it's open every Saturday and Sunday. So, whenever I get to go there, I love looking around. Of all of my places to visit, markets are always my favourite, because there's so many sellers, so many different stuff, so much different stuff. You get to talk to people, you get to hear people's stories as you're buying things. It's, it's, a, it's a great experience. You know, if, if you're like an introvert and you don't like going, now you still you should still go to the markets because the markets are fun. And you never know what you're gonna find. You never know what you're gonna find. And this was the stuff I found. Ooh. Oops. In the op shops before the market, we have from Vinnie's for fifty cents some small Grand Prix LED game. It's fun. It only takes like thirty seconds to play, so. I like these small LED handhelds, but I never find them. I never find them on the cheap. We also have a PlayStation 1 game that didn't have the Hoobs, which is an old... not sure if it was anywhere else, but... I remember it on Aussie Telly, it was a kid's show. It was fun. But good to get that. Still going for the complete PlayStation 1 set. The best of all time horror classic. I thought there was someone outside for some reason. 50 cent VHS tape. And for a buck, Escape from LA. Hold on a sec. Now oh, it's the Bludgers next door. They're fucking about with that car, they always do it. Them and the damn kids. Alright, so... Yeah. I went to the market. That's where I found the good stuff. Found quite a few games, quite a few movies. I just got through it quickly. I want to get out of here. I want to edit this video. I want to check on my soup. For two bucks, I got Rocksmith for the PS3. Sell it on. It's an easy seller. For three bucks for the PSP SBR 2006. For three bucks for the PlayStation 3, a group of sellers was, a group of lovely ladies, were selling some PlayStation 3 games at three dollars each. Looking back, I probably should have bought a few more, but I just bought this one. The Godfather 2, which is a fantastic deal for three bucks. And the rest of these are movies. For 50 cents each, I got Turn of the Living Dead Part 2 on video. This one looks awesome. I got Dragon Ball on DVD for 50 cents. Um, this has to be based on like the Dragon Ball cartoon anime show, so. Um, it might be more like Journey to the West than it actually is Dragon Ball, so. This should be fun to watch. 
and there was a DVD seller. They had DVDs, comic books, statues, all of their new stuff was really expensive, but they had a dollar bin of really cheap stuff. Like, good stuff too. We have Earth vs. the Spider, I've actually been looking for this for years. Um, I saw a commercial of this on a VHS I used to have, like, Spider-Man or something, and I thought, that looks awesome, I gotta check that out. So I finally get to Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Well, that's supposed to be pretty controversial. Itchy the Killer. Well, that just looks kind of cool. Plagueis. And a two-disc set. Over 560 minutes on this. Kindred, the Embraced. It's supposed to be about vampires. So that was awesome. Love going down there whenever I get the chance. Ah. <sighs> And I think that'll do us for this video, there's nothing really else to show, so that's everything I got to show. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and get out to your own op shops and make your own videos, so. <laughs> the secret my house bidding you farewell. I'm gonna go check on my soup because I think it's starting to boil over, and I'll see you guys later. And that's all, folks.